Sometimes when people hear that this is really like so important to me as like the biggest thing in my life, they say it oh weird. It sounds so sad if the most important thing in your life is a video game. But I think that I'm actually really very lucky with it. Because a video game can't hurt you. I mean, <laughs> I mean it can, but it can't leave you or make you sad, like intentionally. It can die, it always will be with you. And this world is always with me. And I actually really feel myself very lucky that I have found out about it in my life. It actually saved me many times. I first played Final Fantasy IX when I was six years old, almost six, six to seven. It was at summertime and I not actually played it myself, I watched how my mom played in it. And she brought the disc, I mean four discs, <laughs> it was in four discs for PlayStation 1, from the son of her co-worker's friend. I hope it just sounds right. <laughs> I don't know really why exactly this disc he gave us. Maybe because he thought that for a child, a six years old child, it was a much more interesting game to play. And he was actually right. <laughs> I still think that this game is perfect for playing as a kid. Five years old, six years old, seven years old. If you have kids and you want to join them to Final Fantasy community, or just to JRPG community, just RPG community, this game is perfect for introducing. I was so impressed by this game, like for my whole life, <laughs> as you can see. Well, I actually played video games before. I watched how my family played video games before, my entire family was video games fans, but I always played like, you know, like platformers or maybe some economic simulation games like Zen Park or Zen Park World, Spyro, downloading some games from Disney cartoons, like all this stuff. But this was something different. First of all, the storyline was so deep. I was so impressed that this story is so complicated, so long and so deep and you can watch this not on movie or not in cartoons, but in video game. And it's not like in cartoons and movies or even a book because on theirs you can only watch and read and you can only watch or see what is going on. But in video game you actually like participating in this storytelling. Well, maybe you cannot like change the storyline a lot, you're just watching it too, but you are interact with it more actively and deeply. I was so amazed, even though that I not played it by myself first because it was a little too complicated for me. It was so interesting just to see how my mom played it. I was so impressed, oh my god. <laughs> and not only the story, the whole world was so impressive, it was so complicated, it was so big. The design of Final Fantasy IX is one of the cutest and beautiful scenes in my entire life I ever knew and watched. When Garnet opens her eyes and she sits in such a beautiful room with such a beautiful dress and she opens the window from Alexandria Castles and we are seeing this Alexandria Castle and then the Prima Vista that slowly floats toward it. Oh my gosh, it, it, it was so it was so beautiful and it was like the first minute of the game <laughs> and then all those cinematic cutscenes with all those battles or just tragical moments and then when we saw Lindblom castle and so on and oh my gosh it was just so interesting to watch it was so impressive but again, it was not just like a movie or a cartoon. You can participate in it and you can play this game. It was so amazing. And of course, the characters. The characters in this game, they blew my mind. <laughs> to be honest, Zidane Tribal, it is really my first crush ever. Not only like a 2D crush, but uh, like uh, ever. 
I felt like strong feeling of love, well, except for my parents, of course, for like a different uh, person, and especially for a boy, a first time filled it to Zidane tribe. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe actually for Mamoru Chiba too, from Sailor Moon. But, it, well, you know, like Mamoru and Zidane. <laughs> How can you even try to find something similar between them? They are such a completely different characters, I, I mean. He's such an amazing guy, because this character was so strong, active and supportive. He was like not a typical hero, because he was completely obviously imperfect. Im imperfect. <laughs> All those beautiful quotes and words he said to their friends toward their journey and how he actually helped them. Well, Zdane actually knew that the only person who can help someone who is in trouble is actually this exact person. But if he could do something, he did it with a whole his heart. And when he went in depression mode, like almost in the end of the game, and all those friends came to help him, it was so amazing to watch. I was so impressed that such a friendship and like tea team up in thing can exist in our world that was an inspiration for me for the whole life and of course the main character and the main reason to love all of this for me is as a child i was like a fan of princesses thing, especially for Disney printed thing. My mom bought me journals about Disney printers and I loved Barbie as well. I even, as I said, watched an anime when I was a kid and it was actually the reason why I loved Japan culture, I suppose. My first ever anime that I remember was Sailor Moon. And of course, Usagi Tsukino was my favorite character too. But none of those girls, none of, none of those princess, not Sailor Moon, no, none, of, none, of, none of them couldn't compare with Garden Taylor Exodus. I mean, guys, first of all, she's beautiful. Second of all, she's so beautiful. <laughs> and she was beautiful not in her dress or her beautiful gown like other princess. She wore this damn le le leathered or ribbon suit or how is it called? It's like, what the... What are you talking about? I mean, come on, Square Enix, well, who designed this character? What the heck? How you could even show it to a kid inside? <laughs> I think she's like the lewdest character in the Final Fantasy series. I mean, of course, after Tifa, like, the, um, she's on the second place. Okay, after Tifa and after Lulu, she's like on third place. But I never thought on it, like, from the lewd side until I <laughs> I always just think that she is simply beautiful in this golden jumpsuit with those long dark hair, with those beautiful figure and this beautiful manner of speech. I will always dream to be like her, not only from the outside, but from the inside too. I try to act like her, I try to change my manner of speech like she did in the game, but she did it like on the opposite way. She wanted to sound more like a common fall girl, but I wanted to sound more like a royal girl or princess and I already started to say all this, no, thank you, you have my gratitude, good evening, hello to everybody, like to strangers, to, to my parents, to everybody. <laughs> but I quickly realized that I'm not a princess and I'm not living in a castle. And I can't pretend that I am a princess from a castle because I'm not, I'm so not. And it was such a big trauma in my life. Yeah, and this is actually the reason why I started to cosplay. When I found out about this thing, I just quickly realized that this is it. This is the way I can pretend that I can be like her, like even if not like completely as a person. But at least I can wear her suit. This is so genius idea. Cosplays for me for sure. <laughs> but of course, this character not only traumatizing for my entire life. <laughs> She actually learned me many, many good things. As I said about the day, it is not a perfect character. Yeah, she had a problem. She had really very big problems with her abusive mom, with her relationships with Zidane, or 
how she can't even build them properly <laughs> those time that she was completely depressed and it was actually really good shown in the game for a period of time she couldn't use some skills and she always skipped the moves and the battles and yes this is kind of annoying and many people judge her for that that oh my gosh you can't play guarded in the middle of game she became so useless but Guys, she actually had a very big trauma. We love to romanticize psychological problems until they shown in pop culture like it is in the real life. <laughs> when it's shown in a game or in the movies or in cartoons like it should be in real life, it always annoys us. What audacity. What an interesting reaction. How she overcome the problems really helped me too many times. And her discipline and her willing to work on herself. How she tried to change her manner of speech. She learned how to fight and how she wrote those books about an open world and how she actually prepared for escaping the castle. It was so impressive for me. She's such a hard worker if we look at her character deeply. She's not just a princess that you should save. No, she completely can handle it by herself. And when she tried it, actually, she was a complete failure. Gosh. It is so like in real life. I can relate to this so much. When you tried hard to make something that is the right thing to do, but it turns out a complete failure. I can relate to this so much. And of course, if we talk it about characters, how could we not even talk about the main character of the Final Fantasy IX, to be honest, about him? I am absolutely legitimately Thing that Weavy's character storyline is like the most deep character development not only like in Final Fantasy game or like in other Final Fantasy games but like in entire pop culture and in entire fictional character stories. Like even Severus Snape can't compare with him, with drama and trauma that he overcame in his story. I mean, guys, they put like the deepest and the hardest existential question in our life in the mind of six years old. Well, human being is the wrong thing to call him. I mean, I mean, car character, a child. He's just a child. And he obstacles with such a deep and harsh problems that not even you as a gamer, but us, all the characters around them, like, just watch at him and think, oh my gosh, Vivi. Well, I guess my life is not so bad after all. <laughs> this is exactly how Garnet overcame her problems. She just simply looked at Vivi and then once decided, oh gosh, I can't be depressed anymore. <laughs> Since I have this child around me, I can't. Yeah, if you never ever played Final Fantasy IX, you should try just only for him, just only for this boy. 